Yes guys and welcome back guys to a brand new video guys and in today's video guys as you can see from the thumbnail and the title of this video guys yes guys we are going to be reacting to my Premier League predictions of the 21-22 season the season's come to an end congratulations to Man City on the title it all went down on the final day of the season a few more fixtures have come in we've seen Liverpool lose to Real Madrid in the Champions League I'm absolutely buzzing with that result as well and also welcome back to the Premier League Nottingham Forest First time in 23 years as well. Looking forward to next season. I think it's going to be a fascinating season. An interesting season, I think, for Manchester United. A big summer ahead for Manchester United. But not only just for Manchester United, for other teams as well. Looking forward to that. Yes, guys, let's get straight into today's video. We are going to be going from the relegation zone up to the top. 20th, I predicted Norwich City. I absolutely got this absolutely bang on right. 20th, it was Norwich City in the Premier League table as well. So I'm absolutely overwhelmed that I got that one right. Norwich... I just think they've had a disappointing season, like they've always had, to be honest. And they're the most team that have been relegated like six times to the Championship. They're a bit of a, a team that's a waste of space, to be honest, that keep coming up to the Premier League, keep going up and down, just don't have a Premier League team. Did they have to get rid of Daniel Farke in the middle of the season as well? I think that was probably a hard decision for them to make, to get rid of him. And then to obviously bring in Dean Smith as well, who got sacked from Aston Villa. He then got given the Norwich job as well. I thought Dean Smith did not ban with them. I think there was two spells where he got them on a, on a good run of form on a good run of game there was just too many games where they dropped too many points the mentality is not right in their team just no leaders in the changing room as well I think Norwich are a good team they've just got to get back to the drawing board they made a heap of signs last summer as well just didn't work for them and I just knew that Norwich they were never going to stay up it's unfortunate for them this is one that I absolutely got bang on right I wish Norwich all the best next season in the championship and enjoy it 19th I predicted Watford Yet again, I got this bang on right. 19th was actually Watford as well. Watford are another team. Their owners, I don't like them. The Italian owners that keep chopping and changing their managers. They don't back a manager. They don't get behind them. They don't give them a transfer window to go out and say, I want that player, this player and that player. Keep chopping and changing managers. And they had Zisco in at the start of the season. They stacked him. They brought in Claudio Ranieri with the Italian heritage there. That didn't work out got sacked after three months and then they brought in Roy Hodgson into the end of the season he's confirmed that he's not going to be their manager next season as well Watford I think obviously they had a few surprising results obviously beating us beat Everton as well they were a really good team they bought too many strikers though and I think you're probably going to see their team is going to completely cut down this summer as well even though they're going back to the championship Watford disappointed again for them as Watford fans the Hornets won't be happy at the end of the day Watford they've had a very disappointing season Watford have just not been good enough this season it was written in the stars that they were definitely going to go down back to the championship enjoy the championship next season 18th I actually predicted Brentford now who went down it was actually Burnley at Burnley it all went down to their last game week the last day being from Lancashire myself, I'm devastated that they've gone down. It looked like they were going to stay up at one stage. Obviously, they got rid of Sean Dyche. That was a big shock. It only just got inside a new contract. Pretty much, they pulled the plug. They had to beat Norwich. They sacked him with a couple of days before their next game. They brought in Michael Jackson in. They thought it was going to be the manager. They thought, you know, the manager was at blame. Burley went on a good run of form. It looked like they were going to stay up. Uh, they did fantastically well at first. It just slipped by the last day of the season. Pretty much Leeds only needed a point and they lost to Newcastle. It's unfortunate for Burnley. I think they'll be pushing for immediate promotion back up to the Premier League. They'll be disappointed that they've gone down. Good bunch of lads. I'm not a Burnley fan, but they're a good bunch of lads. I can see that as well. Seems like they're going to be appointed uh, Vincent Company next season as well. Is he going to be the right man for the job? Time will tell. Let's see what happens. Uh, 17th, I predicted Southampton. Obviously, Southampton did not finish 17th. Actually, 17th, it was Leeds United. Leeds United, uh, they only just did it on the last game week against Brentford. They only needed a point. They survived as well. Well done to Leeds. It's been a long season. They've had lots of ups and downs. Another team that had to pull the plug and say sorry. They had to sack a manager as well. They had to say goodbye to uh, Marcelo Bielsa. I think his time was definitely up, unfortunately. They just needed a fresh face. They needed fresh ideas in the dressing room. But just new tactics, new everything in that dressing room, to be honest. But Leeds, they've done their bit of staying up. And they did well themselves. They had a bit of a depleted squad, though. Obviously, they had lots of players out injured with the likes of Patrick Bamford out for the most of the season. Dan James had got a red card with pretty much two games to go. Luke Kane as well got sent off as well and he had to miss the rest of the season as well. So they had a bit of a depleted squad, but they did well to stay up and they just survived. Well done to Leeds United. I have to give you phrase even though we hate each other, but 
at the end of the day they did their bit of staying up for next season not an easy task though to stay up but they did their job i mean lee's just escaped brilliant team ups and downs bumpy road not consistent enough jesse marsh did his bit kept them up they just need that winner's mentality next season they did struggle in parts this season but they did pull together they survived well done to them 16th i predicted burnley obviously burnley went down 16th it was actually everton Everton, another team that have really been really poor this season as well. I did not expect Everton to be in that position, to be honest. I expected Everton to be a lot more higher up. I think everyone did, to be honest. I think Everton did their bit of staying up again. They appointed Rafa Benitez. I don't think he was the right man in the first place to be appointed because obviously he said comments about Everton when he was at Liverpool. So that obviously just didn't really suit right with a lot of people, to be honest. But I thought a lot of people thought that the, something could be there with Rafa Benitez. But Rafa's one of them where completely lost the plot as well you could see it actually in pre-season as well to be honest when he lost to us it's just one of them for Everton he just didn't have a great season it looked like at one stage they were going to go down themselves he just escapes Frank Lampard came in he got appointed he kept them up to take it game by game they were losing game by game they were really looking at that table and obviously relying on teams to do a job for them as well they pulled a run of games together they beat us what did they go and do after that? They couldn't follow it up with a win. You know, they're putting a good run in towards the end of the season. They needed it. Those scenes when they beat Crystal Palace, they needed to win that game. Well, and that was a vital win for them. That game secured them of staying up for next season as well. Clean sight for Everton next season. They want to start again, re-go again. Lampard needs to be back in the summer. And he'll want to bring in his players of who wants to bring in as well. They really need to strengthen in that defence for me. Everton, they've been really poor this season and they have to admit that themselves. But they'll come again next season and let's see what they can do. 15th, it was Brighton. Obviously, 15th, it was not Brighton. 15th, it was actually Southampton. I came close with this one. Predicted them to come 17th. Southampton, again, I think they're a team this season under Ralph Hazenhutl. I think Southampton, they did well this season. It looked like they were going to maybe finish mid-table. Maybe... 10th was looking likely at one stage, but they just dropped off, completely dropped off. Southampton, they just didn't have... They were just relying on individuals like James Ward-Prowse, Breuer, to get them out of the mud. There was no real togetherness there towards the end of the season. The, the players, Their players had also checked out as well. But Southampton, they did all right for themselves. Went on a good run of form. Dipped as well. Inconsistent. But I think they'll come again next season. Southampton, not being great this season. They'll want to come again, regroup. They definitely need... A couple of quality good signings in the summer and i think if they can get them in bringing the right recruitment in i think they might be all right next season will ralph hazen who's will keep his job we'll see i think time will tell but let's see what happens going 14th it was crystal palace obviously Crystal Palace did not come 14th. It was actually Aston Villa. Obviously, Aston Villa started the season off with Dean Smith. There was that whole cycle of Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, Dean Smith and Nuno Espirito Santo as well. Aston Villa, no, I think they've won an alright season. I don't think they'll be proud with it. I think they'll be okay with it, of where they finished in the end. I think Villa... You know, again, though, I was pretty close with this one as well, to be honest, where I predicted them anyway. But Villa, they had an all right season. Not one of the best of seasons, but they've got some really fantastic players, though. You look at that team and you go Coutinho, Ings, Watkins, Traore. Obviously, just brought in two new signings in as well. Diego Carlos and CDM as well. So they're looking really good, but they just don't seem to... They're a bit like us. Got the talent, just can't really put it together. Villa, they've had an OK season. Had Dean Smith in charge. They had to pull the trigger in that international break and say, sorry, you're going. Steven Gerrard came in. They had to back him. They had to give him time. Steve G did all right for himself. They did went on a poor run of form, but picked it up in the last couple of games as well towards the end of the back end of the season. But they did well for themselves. They stayed up. Villa... They look a really good team. They just need to implement it and they need to use the quality that they've got on the pitch as well. They've got a, amazing talent on the pitch there. Just need to implement it a bit more and they need to utilise those players on the pitch as well next season as well. 13th, I predicted Leeds United. Obviously, Leeds didn't finish 13th. It was actually Brentford. Brentford got this one massively wrong as I predicted them to come 18th. But Brentford, they did really well. Overestimated them here. Brentford. Really good team, to be honest. Had a really good season. I thought they were going to go down. Brentford, they've had a decent season. They're that sort of team. Inconsistent in times, but the big signing for them was Christian Eriksen when he came in in January and he absolutely turned things around for them. And he was a brilliant signing for them. Turned them around with the last six months, to be honest. Did fantastic. Definitely proved a lot of people wrong. Me, for one of them as well. Brentford are that standout team as well. In the Premier League next season as well, be proud of your work, what you've done under Thomas Frank. 
I would like one of your players definitely for sure in that team for sure. 12th, I predicted Newcastle. Coming 12th, it was Crystal Palace, and I was pretty close with this prediction as well. Palace, they've had a decent season under Patrick Vieira. You know what, I didn't know how it was going to turn out with them. I thought, I didn't really know how, how, how it was going to plan out Patrick Vieira, because Patrick Vieira, I think a lot of people would have seen his past. He got sacked from multiple jobs, and I think this was a job for Patrick Vieira where he had to really get backed by the board, and he brought in a young team in as well. He got rid of a load of older players, brought the average age in their team as well, and got a young squad to work with the likes of Elise, Gwehi, Zaha, Benteke, Edward as well. And they've had a really good season themselves. I think maybe they're probably the best season that they've had. I think they finished 14th last season. For me, they've looked really good. Obviously beat us in the last game week as well. Crystal Palace. They've done well for themselves this season. They've got to be proud of their work. A young team that, that's hungry, wants to improve, wants to get better as well. Patrick Vieira's got a lot of trust in those young players and I think maybe next season they could kick on and I think with a couple of good more signings I think they could really kick on. Let's see what next season brings them. 11th I predicted Aston Villa. I, I was not too far off Aston Villa to be honest but coming 11th it was Newcastle and I tell you what Newcastle have had an incredible season. You have to give a round of applause to Eddie Howe but starting off for Newcastle a great of starts the season. They had Steve Bruce in charge. Another one as well, Newcastle. They came into this season with Steve Bruce. There was a lot of rumours about the takeover, whether it was going to happen or not. And then obviously when that takeover happened, that was a big turnaround for them. Got rid of uh, Mike Ashley. And then they brought in the Saudis as well. New owners, new players came in as well. New manager, Eddie Howe. And Eddie Howe's done a fantastic job with that Newcastle side, to be honest. Newcastle have done really well for themselves. I think they've got to be proud for themselves. The Geordies did really well. Finished mid-table as well. Very, very close with this prediction as well. But Newcastle have done fantastic for themselves. They've got to be proud of their work. A few fantastic bloody players for sure. The likes of Kevin Trippier, Chris Wood, Bruno Guimaraes as well. I tell you what, that's a brilliant team. I think with a couple of more good signings in the summer, I tell you what, they'll be really pushing for... Europe next season and I think they'll look like more of a team they're a well coached team as well but they're another team that's hungry that wants to get better that wants to learn and put it right on the training pitch and definitely get better for next season they've done really well this season and they've got to pat themselves on the back I have to phrase them because they've done really well the way they've turned it around fantastic brilliant coming 10th I predicted Wolves and actually Wolves did finish 10th this season Wolves you saw an impact that Bruno Lodge had made Coming into the team, obviously Nuno Espirito Santo agreed with the board, going to walk away from Wolves. There was a reaction from Bruno Large coming in. I thought he had a really good team there. We're bringing in a couple of good players there, like the Trincao and Jose Sarr. I thought they did really well. They were putting in a good run of form in as well, beat us as well at Old Trafford. First time in like God knows how many years. But Wolves did really well for themselves. To be honest, but again, this is a team that checked out towards the end of the season. I think they'll be not be happy where they finished in the end. I was really looking at them as well. It looked like they were going to catch just because we were just tiptoeing. Wolves, I think disappointing end of the season for them. They were just getting beat left, right and centre. Players had checked out, were on holiday, sipping pina coladas. Wolves, they've done all right for themselves. Disappointing to finish where they were in the end. Tenth, I think they would have done better. Wolves, I think they'll be disappointed with their season. I think they should have done better. But this is another prediction that I got right and bang gone as well. Wolves, I think they should know themselves. They shouldn't have not finished there this season. Definitely should have finished higher up for sure. Coming ninth, I predicted Everton. I completely got that one wrong anyway. But coming ninth, it was Brighton Hove, Albion. Brighton have had one of their best seasons under... Graham Potter. I predicted them to come 15th. Completely got that one wrong. They proved me wrong for sure. Brighton obviously found a style of play this season. Implemented it. Got a really good squad. Got a lot of quality on the pitch as well. Winning to listen to their manager as well. They got better as well. The hungry. Picked up some really good fantastic results as well. They went away to Liverpool and drew there. The game was a good humbling for sure. A couple of weeks back but yeah Brighton have had one of the best seasons in the Premier League with a really good manager Graham Potter. Brighton have done really well for themselves. Got a really good team with the likes of Kukurea in the team as well. He's really shone a lot as well. Got a few good standout players like Cansado as well. Basuma as well. Would really like him at United as well. Brighton have done really well for themselves. The best season that they've had in the Premier League. And they'll be proud of their work. Well coached team. Let's see what happens with Brighton next season. Coming eighth, I predicted Arsenal. Obviously, Arsenal did not finish eighth. It was actually Leicester City. Leicester City, I think they'll be pretty disappointed with their season as well, to be honest. I think they thought they were going to be fighting with the top six teams. But Leicester, they just got off with a... They were really poor at the start of the season. Like, really poor. They just couldn't put it together. Brought in some fantastic signings in. 
I just don't know what it was. It was a lack of leaders in the dressing room. Was it the mentality in the team as well? Just didn't seem to click for them this season. They were obviously in the Europa League at first. They qualified for that. Got knocked out of that, went into the Conference League. That was a battle for them this season as well, playing every three days as well, playing on Thursday nights and Sundays as well. So they struggled, definitely for sure. Obviously, Jamie Vardy was out for most of the season as well. Again, another player that really hits it off for Leicester. Different team when Vardy's in the team as well, but... Leicester picked up a good run of form towards the end of the season, but it was just too little too late. Leicester, I think they'll be disappointed by the finish because now it's going to be one game a week next season as well. Leicester will be disappointed, but I think they'll be willing to put it right. They had a lot of quality players there, but just didn't put it together this season. Coming 7th, I predicted West Ham. 7th, West Ham did finish 7th. Proud with this one as well, got this one bang on as well. West Ham... Another good team, well coached, well drilled, a very good team as well that we've had to watch out for this season as well. Looked like that they were going to definitely get Europa League in the last game week as well, but Brighton did us a favour. West Ham had a fantastic season. Hungary wanting to get better as well under David Moyes. I think West Ham, I think they'll be proud of where the team has come. Obviously, they were in the Europa League. They played every three days. They huffed and puffed as well in games and teams had to really cavitate on their tiredness as well, playing on... Thursdays and Sundays really caught up to them. That was a new thing for them this season as well. Obviously, they crashed out on the Europa League. They really focused on the Europa League, and that's why they finished seventh. They didn't really invest in January as well, and that's probably where it went wrong as well in their season. I think if they would have invested in January, definitely had the depth there, probably finished above us. But because they focused on Europa League too much, they finished seventh and, you know, disappointed end of the season. Only picked up a point in two games. I think West Ham will be disappointed towards the end of the season. West Ham, they finished seventh. They've got Conference League next season. So, again, they played on Thursday night. I'd be not happy with that. But and they just got to accept where they are, move on next season and hopefully push for Europa League or Champions League. And it looked like they were going to get Champions League as well at first, but just dropped off. They were just that team that there was not going to be consistent and you were going to definitely see some inconsistency from their side. But they've had a good season. Just disappointed to how the end of the season at the end of the day. Coven 6th, I predicted Tottenham. Obviously, it was not Tottenham. It was Man United, my team. Obviously, it's been a disaster season for us. It's been a shit season for us, to be honest. Got really talented players there on the pitch. Didn't implement it. Couldn't utilise the players that we had as well. Players have been a joke this season. They deserve where to be. It was definitely between us, Arsenal and Tottenham for top four. It was like past the parcel at first, but it was definitely who wanted it more was going to get top four. Disaster season for us. It's a season to forget. We have to put it behind us. The worst season we've ever had in the Premier League as well. The lowest points tally as well. Been a shite season for us. I have to admit it as well myself. Players have got to take responsibility for it as well. The new era starts next season with Ten Hag. Got to get the right recruitment in. We've had a shit season, for sure. Coming fifth, I predicted Leicester. Obviously, I wasn't far off Leicester, to be honest, but coming fifth, it was Arsenal. Obviously, Arsenal favourites to get top four. To be honest, they're a young team. I knew myself that they were not going to get top four. I just think they're a young team. Obviously, they were hungry. You could see of how much passion they celebrated every game as well, uh, like as if they won the league. Had a really good season under Arteta. I think Arsenal fans will be disappointed the way how they finished the season. Definitely overachieved this season. Europa League for them again next season, playing Thursday nights as well. Thought they were going to be playing in the Champions League, but I knew myself that they were not going to get top four. But they're a long way off those teams anyway, and I knew they were not going to get it anyway. Arsenal, they overachieved, they're a young team. Hungary, willing to get better, well coached, but fell short, but it wasn't good enough for them. It all went apart after the North London derby, to be honest. I knew myself if they didn't win that, top four was over for them. It went away after that Newcastle game. I mean, I loved it myself that they were not going to get top four anyway. Point four five predicted Liverpool. Obviously, it was not Liverpool. It was Tottenham. Tottenham, what a turnaround that they've had this season. They appointed Nuno Espirito Santo. They backed him. I say they backed him. I thought they brought in some really good players in, in the summer. Just didn't work out for him. Got sacked after three months in charge as well. Oli sacked him. It came to an end with Nuno Espirito Santo. I really liked him as well as a manager. Obviously, it was a big step up. He never managed a big team before. And I think he knew it was a bit of a gamble as well. They pulled the trigger right away and they said we're going to appoint Conte. Conte came in turned things around. He went into their Spursy ways as well with how they went beating Man City and then couldn't beat Burnley. It looked like at first they were not going to get top four but a few Spursy moments. Conte looked a bit defeated after a few losses but they found a way with the front three Kulovetsky, Son and Kane and they got it together and they got top four in the end. Well done to them. They've got back in the Champions League on Tuesday and Wednesday nights. They've done fantastically well to turn it around from November to May, really, and they've done well. Well done to Conte and his backroom and stuff. They've done fantastically well.
to come fourth. Going third, I predicted Chelsea. Chelsea did finish third in the end. And Chelsea, Chelsea, it looked like a lot of people put them in the frame of battling for the title. They had they bought a striker for 100 million that only scored seven goals this season as well. That's pretty poor as well for Lukaku. Chelsea, I think they've had a, an okay season. Chelsea want to put that season behind them as well. Obviously, they're in the Carabao Cup final bottle it in the FA Cup bottled it I thought they were in the better teams but just couldn't win it on penalties uh, Liverpool got them twice and Chelsea with the back end of, towards the end of the season they will be definitely disappointed it, they had a bit of a dip mid-season as well but they got it back but again just went towards the end of the season dropped too many points as well themselves they were just not in the mix in the end and Chelsea just didn't have the quality Tuchel needs to be back so needs a, probably a whole new back line now in the summer as well but Chelsea got new ownership now they tie down a few players with new contracts and bring some players in but they've had an okay season they'll be disappointed they just need to move on go into the, the summer with a plan go and get the players that they want Coming second, I predicted United, that was a long way off anyway. Coming second, it was Liverpool. I mean, what a title race this was between Liverpool and Man City. It went down to the last game week. Liverpool hadn't dropped points till that Tottenham game, to be honest. And I think if they hadn't dropped points to Tottenham, I think they probably would have won the league. Liverpool have been fantastic the whole season long. Obviously, Jurgen Klopp has done a fantastic job with them as well. Obviously, they've been fantastic bringing in signings like Diaz as well, mid-season as well. What a first six months he's had as well. He's going into his first full season next season as well they're hitting it off Liverpool very aggressive gave us a good humbling as well twice home and away Liverpool they've had a fantastic season considering that they lost the Champions League they did the dome stick double you can't do this one can you with Fergie though take that one Liverpool swivel on that I love that that you didn't win the Champions League last night Liverpool they've had a decent season what a title race it was came down to their last day City pulled it out of the bag last game of the season and first I predicted Man City and I got this one absolutely bang on right City did come first in the end City came close in the end they got the job done they dropped a few points here and there they dropped points to Crystal Palace Tottenham as well a few scary moments as well if they would have beaten Palace they could have run away with it City but because they dropped points to Palace brought that title race really close and it was an exciting end luckily City did it on the last game week won it 3-2 against Aston Villa massive congratulations to Man City this season they've had a fantastic season by winning the Premier League Still can't win the Champions League though. <laughs> I love that one as well, being a Man United fan. But City have done really well for themselves. They've got to be proud of winning the Premier League. They've done well. Haaland's coming in next season as well. Done the Premier League now. They'll be looking to definitely kick on next season. See what next season brings. City, they've had a great season. All three of them. Got a fantastic team, fantastic coach. They've been brilliant this season. So yes, guys, this video has now come to an end. Reacting to my Premier League predictions. I'm pretty happy. Way how uh, I'm pretty happy with some of my predictions. Some of them I came close. I got a few right this season as well. More than any other season that I've had before as well. This is probably my best season that I've had in terms of predicting teams as well. We came close. I got a few right as well, so I'm I'm pretty proud of my predictions as well. It's been an exciting season, obviously. Congratulations to Man City once again. But this is where my video has come to an end. Hope you guys enjoyed another video. Be sure to leave a like. Subscribe to my channel if you are new, and I'll see you guys in a video in the next couple of days. And peace.